Hello friends! Welcome to the new episode where I will paint the green armor of that Dark Angel's captain using the new range of paints from Green Stuff World. I have already primed the model with the black paint before. The first step will be the zenithal highlight using the nuclear white paint with some airbrush thinner. Please notice that I apply it only from the left side to create the natural highlights and shadows. Of course, I will do it also on the backpack, keeping in mind the light direction. Next, I will use the ink paint, which is the Viridis Green. It has a beautiful dark green bluish tone. I apply it directly from the pot with an airbrush. The two layers are enough to obtain our main base color. I repeat this process on the model itself as well. Again, applying two thin coats to get the full coverage, uniform color and the smooth transition from the black undercoat. Now is the time for the brushwork. I will introduce some new colors to the palette, which are Hunter Green, Flubber Green and finally the Banana Split for the last highlights. I prepare them on the wet palette as I will be mixing them throughout the process. For this paint job, I will use the Kolinsky brush size 2 from the Silver series from GSW. My first highlight color will be the Hunter Green. I follow the direction of the zenithal highlight from the start step while placing the highlights. It is essential to get inspired by the nature and the true light. I'm smoothing the transition by mixing the Hunter Green with the Viridis Green and applying it as a glaze. I find it hard to present the whole process in details as it is a constant back and forth, glazing, highlighting and so on. But I hope you get the point. To move on, I add the flubber green to the mix. It is a light green tone, warm and saturated. It creates a great contrast with the dark parts of the armor. While highlighting, I'm focusing on the edges and the brightest parts of the armor. And this is the effect after applying the flubber green highlight. Behind the camera, I painted the rest of the armor up to this point. To finish the effect, I will introduce the banana split yellow paint. I will make the final light spots and the edge highlighting with that color.
And here you can see the final effect of the green armor of the Dark Angels. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.